it's me back at it again for your daily dose of me. Every school has got rules. Without rules, there is chaos. But some schools take it way too far. We were only allowed to wash our hair twice a week. <laughs> Did you wash your hair last night? Yeah. Does that make three days in a row this week? Send her to the ranch. Hogwarts hereby banishes you to the shadow realm. Goodbye. How dare you have clean hair in my establishment? No, but for real, literally why? Clean hair? How you know if the kid washed their hair more than twice a week? The whole village gotta preserve water or something? What's going on? We aren't allowed to dab. I heard about this. A lot of schools ban dabbing. And if you do accidentally sneeze or have to dab on somebody real quick you have to do 20 push-ups so I thought it was probably seen as distracting like your fellow female students shoulder but no it's because of where it originated from you know dabbing contrary to popular belief is not simply a mere arm movement for when you sneeze it has to do with the devil's lettuce so we discouraged our children from participating in such devious behavior I mean they do it in Fortnite Kids are gonna do it. Pokemon cards were banned because they encouraged gambling. I never understood, and I am just hearing this now. This is why Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards were banned. My garbage counselor took mine. She confiscated my Pokemon cards several times when I was a kid. They even took my Pikachu plushie. It's literally a stuffed animal. You can't have that in school. I mean, I was like in third grade, but like still. That's like unheard of. I'm rude. Smash like if your teachers have ever taken anything from you. Let me know what it is. They took my Pokemon cards, Digimon cards, Beyblades, my Beyblade arena. Man, they confiscated it all. Everything I bring to school and then they make my parents come pick it up. Y'all suck. There was a $25 fine for chewing gum at my high school. $25? A high schooler has to work at least two hours to make that kind of money. I think that's really weird that you're not allowed to chew gum in a high school. Am I the only one? Are you guys a lot of chew gum at your school because this is new to me like gum helps you focus it makes you have less stank breath it keeps you from eating chips in the middle of class I don't know if this is a good or bad thing but raising hands is banned in some school you got 20 children yelling Hi, so apparently a school thought it was useless to raise your hand and got rid of that completely they always have the same hands going up this does not encourage and support the learning of others in the class now with teacher can choose any student to answer the question. Oh, this is a victory royale for teachers everywhere. They conspired to do this. Like, oh, we're not gonna ask you to raise your hand. We're gonna just gonna pick any of you. The one that's paying the least attention so I can humiliate you in front of your peers. My teachers would make us kneel in the hallway so they could measure our skirt length. That is so weird. Imagine your teacher being like, hey you, get down. Let me make sure your skirt only goes up three inches above your knee. It's like why even make girls wear skirts in private schools and then complain about them being too short in this school The teachers made the students pledge their chastity until marriage and you have to do it in writing and Have a sign by two teachers or what are they literally gonna sue you and take half your earnings the rest of your life? If you break that pledge, they can't make you do this flip-flops were banned at this guy's school flip-flops Someone slip and fall and have an oopsie. We're not gonna blame the floor for being slippery. We're not gonna blame the wet floor sign. And of course, we're not gonna blame the student. Seize his flip-flops! They were the sole cause of this oopsie. So, flip-flops banned. They're allowed to wear backless sandals, which are basically the same thing, just a different material, and high heels, but flip-flops not allowed. This is the best rule probably ever made for any school. Students in China are allowed to take a 30-minute nap in the middle of the day. Like, everybody just climbs up on their desk and the whole class naps for 30 minutes. So these teachers, they're smart. Can we get a round of applause? They're like, naps can improve one's memory and provide energy for further studying. Or it can just make you tired and sleep the rest of the day. But that is amazing. You're allowed to bring blankets and pillows and you just get up on your desk and sleep. This needs to be like a national law across the land. Everybody deserves a mandatory 30 minute nap a day. Stop everything you're doing. Everybody will be so much more calm like namaste wow a catholic school banned all makeup including clear chapstick chapstick you are only allowed to use water to help with dry lips <sighs> 
Let me tell you, as somebody who suffers from chronic crusty lips, that is traumatizing. I think I know why. Okay, so you're not allowed to wear makeup in a lot of Catholic schools. And every time a teacher was like, hey, Ashley, you wearing makeup? No, it's just chapstick. Tinted chapstick. You know what? We go ban all chapstick. Clear chapstick included. I don't know if you guys know the struggle of keeping your lips not chapped with just water. Like when you forget your chapstick and you gotta keep them like hydrated with just water or your good old saliva. Mm, no. Just reading this made my lips crusty. This is for me by far the worst. Toilet time. A high school in Chicago limits the number of times a student is allowed to leave class to visit the bathroom. Three in a semester? What? Y'all better have a good five to ten minutes between each class. Cause what the hell? I was gonna be like three a day, but no three in a semester? And they keep track of it? That's horrible. Anything over that has to be made up after school ends. You get freaking summer school for going to the bathroom too many times? Like what? I wanna try to stay hydrated. I drink a lot of these. I gotta pee, okay? Sometimes I just need a break to just get up and go walk around and check my phone and take pictures in the bathroom. You know, sometimes it's like a stress thing. Like I need to like leave the class. Do you guys ever do that? Comment below if you do that. Like just get out of class to walk around. I like doing that. So the principal said that students may use a restroom visit as an excuse to skip class. So we're gonna like limit the number of times that you can go to the bathroom. That's horrible. That's one of the worst ones. We couldn't dance at prom unless we signed the no grinding contract. <laughs> SS Sniper will hereby agree to not grind or I shall pay a fine of 50% of my earnings for the rest of my life. Yeah, okay. About 15, 20 people got kicked out of prom for breaking the contract. Oh, so that's it. That's the whole punishment. So if you sign the contract and then do it anyway, they just kick you out. Y'all just talk, huh? Oh, I'm gonna make you sign a contract, prepare you for the real world. But when you break a contract in real life, it's not just gonna be a slap on the wrist. Oh no, there's a thing called called lawsuits, honey. And daddy's on speed dial. This can't be real. This can't be real. <sighs> Deodorant. A school actually banned deodorant. A high school in Pennsylvania. They banned body spray after a student had a serious allergic reaction and was taken to the hospital. What? More schools have started to ban spray deodorants. Oh, okay. Spray deodorant. See, that's fine. I thought y'all banned every single kind of deodorant. Like, imagine how nasty that school gonna smell. Imagine walking into a gym class. Like, one kid had an allergic reaction. Get rid of all of it. Body spray so good, making body He's hit the floor. <laughs> we all know that guy that just. Mm, 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 mm. Another thing that's banned is red ink. You know, because of how sensitive everybody is. Red is considered too harsh. Ooh, let me read what they said. Red ink can harm kids psychologically, and the color demotivates students or brings fear or pressure. You know, that's why I use it in my thumbnails to bring fear and pressure. Just kidding. Red is supposed to excite your mind. Green, pink, yellow, and purple are more relaxing and don't look as threatening. Yeah, nothing says Billy, you got all the answers wrong. Like yellow X's all over your homework. For real? I hate this. Kids need to learn something the hard way. This is huge. Words. Freaking words are banned. Like not even bad words. Well they're bad now. So the New York Department of Education banned a couple of words. Students who are Jehovah's Witnesses might not feel comfortable talking about birthdays as they don't celebrate them. Words like poverty, divorce, and disease are out too as they might bring up painful memories or relate to a child's family situation. I'm sorry but this is absolutely insane. You know words like poverty and and divorce, they don't exist in this school. You don't have to worry about them hurting you anymore. Y'all too sensitive. Yeah, it's like some people don't celebrate Christmas. Some people don't celebrate 4th of July. Some people don't celebrate Halloween or Thanksgiving. Like, let's just annihilate all of these words from the dictionaries. They don't exist anymore. Because either way, you will offend somebody speaking about something they can't relate to. You know, that's horrible. That's like a kid with like a gluten allergy or a peanut allergy. And it's like, you know what? We're, we're just gonna ban all gluten ban all peanuts because we don't want the kid to feel left out like this kid is eating peanut butter. I can't have peanut butter. It makes my face swell. Literally traumatized. I'm gonna grow up to spend thousands of dollars on therapy. Kid comes to school flexing that he just got a PS4 for his birthday. What did you say? Coloring hair banned. Cotton 
Halloween candy belongs in my mouth. Not your head. Schools in Tokyo ban students from dyeing their hair. That's not all. They require the students to prove that their hair is their natural color. So you can't just dye your hair and be like, how dare you? I was born like this. To prevent students from lying, teachers had to call home and ask their parents for childhood photos to prove that Jennifer over here was indeed born a cotton candy head. And nobody in this universe got pink hair. Okay, I don't know about the universe, but this, this earth. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know which one of these is gonna make you drop school. Just kidding, don't do that, stay in school. And make sure you hit that like button in the face. And subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, bye guys.